What's up? We're heading out of Stewart to go get some more glass grouper with Peter Barrett from Peter Barrett Rods. So wish us luck. I think we're going to kill it. Yeah, I'm going to need the luck though. So <laughs> we're going to see what happens out there. Stoke to land some fish. We are on the Goliath grouper spot and uh, we've anchored and now I have dropped my line in my Uzuri Crystal Minnow to see if I can catch some bait or a bonita. And I hooked up. We've got a lot of life around us. We've got some wild porpoises. Oh, he's gonna get jacked on the top right now. He just went crazy. Oh, lock it up. So we've got a lot of life, porpoises and um, little sea turtles, and it's a good sign. And Barrett and I are hooked up on some fish. Bring it to the boat. Bonitas don't give up. <laughs> but we're on the Goliath Grouper spot, and it's a wreck that's about 30 feet deep here out of the Stewart Inlet. And um, it holds a lot of fish, tons of big Goliath Groupers here. I'm talking 400, 600 pound fish. There's a big bonita for 30 feet of water. But this is Goliath grouper candy right here. Wow. Wow. Peter Barrett and I just saw like the biggest shark ever just devour like a big old 10 pound bonita he had hooked up on his line right here. He's trying to say that's like the craziest thing he's ever seen out here, and this guy's a shark fisherman. So, Brian didn't catch it on film, but it was a monster. Sorry. He was catching a bonita, and this big old shark came out. Peter Barrett says the biggest bull shark he ever saw in his life. He doesn't even know what kind of shark it is. I can't believe I missed it. Yes. It yeah. might have been left over from Sharknado. Sharknado was on just last night. <laughs> Sharknado 4. No dust sizzle in Shark Nettle 4. Looks like we're on again, let's go. Ooh, Stay in the boat, careful. stay in the boat everybody. Yeah, Watch it, oh my god. Look like a submarine. Oh my god, it's right here. Watch your line, watch your line. line. Because when this thing yeah. goes, it's gonna go. Here it comes, oh my god, comes, oh my god, he's huge. Oh my god, there's another one right behind it. He's coming, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. He's gonna smash him. Here he goes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. You got him, buddy. He's stuck. He's stuck. He's up. You want to go group or fish around? Yeah. <laughs> you want to catch one of these? Monsters. All right. Dude. 
That's nice freaking job. awesome. Holy Woo. cow, that was giant. Oh my god. That's a workout in the boat. Oh my god. Four arms are really cramped up. Now. I need a drink. Yeah, totally. How big was that fish? 500? He was 400. He was a 400 pounder. Yeah. 400 was, pounds. Nine foot. I bet you he was close to nine foot. Woo. That was an awesome fish. Them big bull shark, offshore bull sharks are huge, man. Wow. We saw the Goliaths like right up by the side of the boat. Goliaths came up. We were literally chasing the live bonita on the surface, and we don't know how that shark snuck in, but that shark ended up catching our, uh, you know, eating our live bait bonita. And um, so yeah, I fought him to the boat. I was hoping it was a Goliath, but um, you know. I guess it's a little workouts for starters. My forearms are killing me, so I gotta drink some water. And then I want that Goliath. All right, we switched up our techniques, and instead of using a rod and a reel, we're gonna go ahead and try to do some hand lining today. And um, caught that big old bull shark before, and uh, kind of wasn't the best setup for me on this boat. So we're trying the hand line. The hand line, I'm going to be fighting the fish one-on-one -on -one with this big rope right here. And we're gonna drop down this big chunk of bonita we've got and uh, hopefully we can get a goliath grouper that would be sweet and uh, apparently with the hand line um, it's gonna be a lot of work but I think we can land one lots of big fish out here today big big fish we've already tried to catch two um, we've already tried to catch live bonitas and they're just getting crushed on the surface by big sharks right there it's coming by the boat whatever that is Oh, I see it. Wow. There's some monsters out here today. Monster fish out here today. Monsters. I just saw something come up by the boat. I don't even know what it was, but it was it was huge. So uh, just, let, just cross your fingers that I get that Goliath right now. Up on a bonita. Ooh, that big. Just a bonita. 15 pounder. It's gotta be 100 pounds, bonita. What? It's gotta be the biggest bonita in town. What? Just got whooped by this little bonita. You gonna drop it down and get whooped by even a bigger fish. Coming up, Sizzle. There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Did it! Yeah! Oh, oh, god. I can't even talk right now, but I'm totally stoked. How big is it? He's close to 400 pounds. 400 he's pounds! Six, he's at least six foot or better. 400 pound Goliath grouper, six foot long. Insane on the hand line. <laughs> That's a workout right there. Woo! Oh, That's such a cool thing.
That was a giant. Oh my gosh. I guess for a first one, that's the one you want to get. Yeah. Oh, we had God. a little bit of a struggle to get the hook out, but we did end up getting the hook out. We had to cut it and then remove the hook. And I just gave him a push down into the water and he just took off right away to the bottom. But an awesome fish. That fight lasted like, I don't even know, like couple really minutes. quick, couple minutes. Three minutes. He came up and um, fish was really lively. Monstrous fish. Totally awesome. I'm stoked. We finally got the Goliath we've been trying to get for like a year now. So all thanks to Peter Barrett of Barrett Rods. Woohoo! Awesome. That was great. Yeah. That was huge fish. You got work, boy. <laughs> Man, that was a beast. For a first time fish, I'll take that. 400 pounds any day. But awesome. Really, really awesome. We're going to take a break now. <laughs> recoup a little bit and uh, get some water and stuff and uh, yeah and hopefully yeah 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 all right so I've got Baird and I have got a beer a land shark beer just celebrating my first official catch of a Goliath grouper and uh, we're gonna clean up the boat we're gonna get off our anchor here and we're gonna head inshore and once we get inshore I'm gonna give you a little how-to information on the setup we use to catch the Goliath grouper and the shark We're about to head, the head to the dock and wrap up our day, but I'm just going to give you some general information about the setup we were using today to catch that big old bull shark that was over nine foot long. And basically I've got my Barrett Rods custom shark rod right here, and then I've got 30 feet of 500 pound wind-on leader. And then I've got attached to the wind-on leader, I've got a big old swivel, and then I've got six foot of 500 pound cable. And then attached to the cable, I've got this monstrous 14 knot mustad circle hook. So that's the setup we use to catch the shark and bring him to the boat side and all because of, whoa. <laughs> Bear just jumped off the boat and threw my balance off. I apologize. Um, getting a little uh, <laughs> cold, cold water. Anyways, so that's the setup we were using. And I couldn't have landed it without Peter Barrett right here. He's awesome, and his shark rods are awesome too. Check them out. Peter Barrett, BarrettRods.com. Now, for catching the Goliath grouper that was 400 pounds, we ended up using a hand line. And Barrett and I basically brought this fish up by using our hands as a reel, basically, and stopping and pulling. When the fish was uh, pulling, we'd slack off. And what I was using was a half inch rope right here, and the rope is probably at least 50 foot long or longer. And um, we let him go, you know, when, let him take line when he wanted to take line, and we'd bring him in that way. And we landed him in like two or three minutes. It was super quick. And then attached to this half inch rope, we've got this 500 pound cable, which is about four foot long as our leader. And then we've got a double, double wrap right here. I believe this is called an offshore loop. So, and then we've got our big 14 knot mustad circle hook right here. So that was a setup for the Goliath grouper. And what we did was we dropped down dead baits of bonita, like big chunks of bonita, and they weren't taking it for some reason. So we ended up catching a live bonita. And as soon as we took him off the hook, we put him right on it here and just put it right through his nose. And we just sent him straight down. And instantly the Goliath groupers we're just like all over this fish. They really like them live for some reason, and today that was a trick. Live Bonita as bait, he's probably a 10 pound fish. And that's what we used. So today was an awesome day. Like I said, we caught that huge bull shark, which was awesome. And then we caught that Goliath grouper, my first Goliath grouper I've ever seen in person. And it all because of Peter Barrett from BarrettRods.com. Couldn't have done it without him. But we came out here, we wanted to catch sharks, we wanted to catch Goliath groupers, we did that, we got the footage, it was awesome, I'm totally whooped, so is Barrett, and um, until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.